Mike Jones here with Ken's. It's a brand new show, and we're on the road, which is super cool. Now, back at the camp in Macon and Warner Robins, we are doing tons of ATVs and trucks and motorcycles and all the boats and all the cool stuff that y'all let us do. You guys are geniuses, by the way. When I say dream up something that we can do, you guys have really stretched it, and I love kind of putting my guys and gals to the test of, of, of how to make you guys happy in your music and your audio and video world. Very, very cool. Now, just so you'll know who I am, I'm on the road. I'm Michael Jones. My brother Kenny Jones and I own Ken Stereo Junction. Uh, 1978 is when we were born. My dad and my uncle started the company, and we're in it. We got our boys into the company as well. And, and let me just tell you, just to kind of give you, we are all about in-store service. So the reason I put that out to you is I have my own people that repair products. So if you buy products, whether it's from us or not, and it ever has an issue, we repair it. And that is a very rare thing, enough to say that within five states, there's no more than two service centers that do it, and no one that has a service center in their stereo store except for Ken's. That's how my dad started this company, was, was all about the service. Now, I'm gonna get you uh, get you into the show here in just a second, but hold on, let me get around this curve, we're going a little too fast here. But I want you to know you're fixing to see some really cool stuff. And throughout the show, my name and phone number will come up there. And if you have a way to dream it, I will come to you. We do a design and everything set up at no charge. And then we get you on the schedule and the guys, you know, do what they do. Normally right here, I say, let's get inside and check it all. But let's, let's go back to the camp, check it all out. All right, now, when you have a bonus room like this, folks have different ideas of what they want to do. This is the idea. You want to make it into your theater. So we already got the theater carpet in place. This was done by them, not us. But then they called in the, the big guns, which are my technicians, and they do what they do. Now, the, the, the thing about this is it was pre-wired correctly. However, with this window, it presents an issue later on down the road because you don't have a place to put a center channel down here. So the center channel ends up up here. Keeping in mind, when you do surround sound, you have a minimum of five speakers and a woofer, right? And the woofer is so that you have bass. So we did a motorized screen here, and that comes in front of where they shaded this window. And you're going to see a cutaway now of when it's up. It's just a perfect wall as well. Clips, flush mount speakers, magnetic grills. you got six and a half inch here, eight inch in the rear. We have a 500 watt amplifier. You're seeing a cutaway now of the cabinet because... We built the cabinet in the wall. I'm going to just flip you around here, David. The idea behind this is this was storage behind here, and when they pre-wired it, they pre-wired the cables behind this wall. So now we can still get behind it from a servicing standpoint, and then we flush the rack in the wall that allows us to have our surround sound amplifier, our Apple TV, our direct TV receiver, and then we have more space for more stuff if you want to add more things later on down the road. We did a remote control. This controls everything. So this controls my direct TV. It controls my Apple TV. It controls my surround sound, everything from here. And it is RF, so I don't have to flip over my shoulder like this to make it work. I can just keep pointing at the screen because by nature, we always point it at the screen. Sony 45 ES projector. It is absolute perfection. It's one of the best pictures I have ever seen in the 2K world. They, they also make a 4K and an 8K now for you super techies. Now, I'm going to let David back up a tad. I'm going to do a little demo here. I want you to hear they are in the church. This is on X-Men. And in the church, you're going to hear their voices moving around like you're in the church. And on top of that, listen to the birds. I'm just kind of giving you things to point out. I'm going to give you a little demo here. Here we go. Amazing, amazing sound here. So you can hear the echo. Sure, you come down? Oof. And I don't know, listen, I, we are watching a regular channel on DirecTV just to give you an idea. I have people say, well, maybe only the Blu-rays sound good or, or the 4K and the Atmos and all that. This is a 5.1 theater. We are watching regular TV on AMZ and it has that kind of sound. So that when you get it and you do it right and you choose the right products, Yamaha amplifiers, I feel like are the best sounding that I've ever heard. Definitely so very affordable. Clip speakers, I love them. They have a lifetime warranty. A 500 watt subwoofer, Sony projector. This is this is like the recipe for the per perfect setup. So this theater for this family is ready to go. They did their own seating. You can seat at least six, seven people in here and enjoy your sports, your movies. And I have so many people say, well, can you watch regular television on it? Regular television on it. So smart remote doing it. This is exactly what we do. Awesome. 
All right, now in our making in our Warner Robin store, we always have car stereo specials, which we are getting car stereo stock back by the bushels now. And some of the radios that you guys seem to love the most, by, by the way you purchase, is like Alpine. This is called the 172. It's AM, FM, CD. Now this is a, what they call a standard DIN size. So it will fit in almost all vehicles outside of some brand new Lexus and stuff like that. But it's AM, FM, CD. If you don't play a CD, that's okay, because it does have a USB thumb drive where you can also plug in your Android or uh, Apple device right here. It also has an auxiliary in. We used to have a lot of folks ask for auxiliary. I think everybody's kind of gone to the USB because it charges your phone as well. It has a detachable face, which is super cool, and that's because people steal. And this also allows you to add XM if you choose to for 99 bucks. Now the radio right now is on sale for 179 bucks. Now this is this is kind of the top of the single den world as far as quality goes. You know, radio is going to be anywhere from $99 to $249, but for $179 to get Alpine, and it has Bluetooth and Bluetooth audio, and now they've added voice control, which is super nice, which means you can go talk to Siri or whoever your assistant is for your smart devices. If you go to the double den, which is basically two of these, Right here, stacked up. This fits in almost all vehicles as well. We have the new Sony 1000 and 5000 in stock, and it is amazing. It has a true equalizer that you can adjust to your... I love having an EQ built into my radio. The series, series, uh, seriously, seriously easy on the menu is simple. You can add XM. You can add a backup camera. You kind of can do anything you want. This one does CarPlay. This is the Sony 5000. So you go from a 6-inch to a 7-inch model, and the idea behind this one is it does CarPlay and Android Auto. The, the really, really nice. The, the resolution on this screen is amazing. This plug you See here can be in your glove box or down you know underneath your seat or wherever you want to put it that makes it easy for you to plug in and not hold your phone and obviously the idea behind carplay we've talked about that many many times is it allows me to have my maps it allows me to have my phone it allows me to have all my stuff built into my phone on here that, that i would use riding down the road when i'm on a trip to keep things safe and not have my phone in, your, in my in my hand speaker wise phoenix go we've been pushing super hard on y'all because it's such a great value i'm gonna get david to flip and it, we have the, all of their speakers in stock five and a quarter, six and a half, component speakers, six by nines. I'm just going to turn this six by nine up with just radio power so you can get an idea about clarity. This is amazing. Speaker-wise, their speakers are $99 for a pair to $149 for a pair. And the cool thing about it is they normally will fit in factory locations without modification. But here's the cool thing. I keep all these kits in, to give you an example, like, like a 2007 a Toyota Tundra, right, has 6x9s, but it has this kind of funky thing built onto the 6x9. So we have the kit that fits in that, so that this fits in the kit. The idea behind that is we're not modifying or getting, you know, I had a guy come in the other day that had bought elsewhere, he was from Florida, and, and when we took his door panel off, you know, the speaker was, you know, screwed sideways here and screwed high sideways here because they didn't use the proper parts. They cut all the wiring up and that's not what we do. We plug into the factory harnesses, we try to use the factory holes, and if not, we fabricate what it takes for it to be safe and long term, right? My phone number comes up right here. You can go to the making store and talk to the guys over there, guys and gals over there. Warner Robin store, talk to the guys and gals over there. But we are here to serve you. This stuff is in stock. And guess how much you pay for installation? I forgot to tell you. Nothing. Awesome. All right, now in the world of Rockford Fosgate, which is also known as Punch, I grew up on Rockford Fosgate. Matter of fact, I competed with Rockford Fosgate for many, 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 many years, and I love this brand. Now, they are known for brute force amplifiers, and something they just added to their to the lineup in the uh, last six months is this is the Prime series, right? They have Prime, they have Punch, and Power. This is 750 watts mono block amplifier, meaning it's made to push bridge subs. When you take your subs in time together, y'all, you guys already know this. It does have a base knob that comes standard with it where you can adjust. I'm sure you're seeing a cutaway of the base knob right now. These, these amplifiers are absolutely crazy. Now, being 750 watts, what you need to know is that means 375 watts per sub. But let me tell you what Rockford is good at, okay? When I used to compete, there was a reason why this 300 watt amplifier was like this big back then. It's because it wasn't 300 watts. It was like 650 watts, and they would just tell you the absolute minimum it would ever do instead of the maximum, which a lot of guys do. So what they do is they take every one of their amplifiers and they do a test on them before they even leave the facility. You ready for this? This is 750 watt. This is the birth certificate of the amplifier. This is what you're going to love. Ready? I'm going to show you how much power it did. How about that number? 
So this 750 watt amplifier is actually 942 watts when bridged. And if you can get 942 watts for 750 watt money, that makes great sense. Now, I'm just gonna kind of flip you this way. All these subwoofer boxes, I talked about these about a month and a half ago. We keep these in stock. Uh, we called the manufacturer that builds a lot of these boxes. They had 180 of them in stock. We bought every one of them so we can make sure that we serve you the right way. So when you come into the making a Warner Robin store, if you don't see it, just say, hey, I'm really looking for, and they'll go down to the warehouse and make sure we get you taken care of, and we'll kind of flip through here. Another thing that we do is a lot of you guys with the trucks and regular cab, you need what they call a slim series woofer. So we carry an entire lineup from JL and Rockford Fosgate and Phoenix Go of slim subs. The idea behind these is they can go underneath your seat where you don't have a lot of this extra, extra room for the box. So the subwoofer box may only be this tall or three or four, six or 10 inches tall, but it's nice to know we have 10s and 12s in that slim design to make sure you get the kind of base that you want. So I'm gonna kind of let you see, kind of fan out and see this. The idea behind this entire section, this third of our store is just completely committed to audio and video for you know, side-by-sides and Harley Davidsons and everything that you can think of as far as your cars and, and motorcycles go. So when you come in, talk to the rocket scientist and they'll design a system, it's in stock and we're ready to work for you. All right, we're at the country store, literally called the country store in Juliet, Georgia. And the gentleman that just bought this store, he is, he is, he is invested in this thing being cool. So, but when you have your investment, you have to have security cameras. We did the entire inside as he starts to get all of his inventory in. I mean, you could almost count the inventory from the camera. I think that's amazing. You have to have that detail so that if there is a bad guy or a bad girl that comes in and does the bad thing, or if you have an accident out there, we can see what happened. And more importantly, we can see people's faces. Now, the thing, the reason I bring you out to Juliet, Georgia is the internet out here in some areas is marginal, you know, marginal, like really marginal. And there is a series called Paramount that allows you to take a DVR and put it in here. And with a marginal IP or marginal internet, you can still see it from your phone. So even with a really, really low speed, as you can see here, I'm going to try and get it where you can see it. You can see I can get through my cameras and it's amazing how much detail we have. When you get done with it at the end of the day, you've got this cool setup that you can modernize even out here in the middle of where you really can't get the internet that you want. So the reason I bring that up to you is you'll see my number come up on the screen. And I'm sure you're seeing cutaways of cameras as we're doing this as well, but you might even see this cutaway sound because we did sound throughout the entire, he's fixing to do his grand opening while you're watching this show. So we did sound throughout the entire facility inside and outside, Yamaha speakers, Yamaha amplifier, and he's connected through his computer. So I bring this to let you know is it kind of, this is what we do. This is the security part of our show. You know, but we do sound, we do conference rooms, we do streaming. This is kind of just a cool factor of it. And now that we know that we can use the kind of marginal internet and still give you a way to watch it when you're away at the beach or if you're out of town and be able to watch your investment, that's pretty, pretty, pretty cool as well. Now we back it up with our in-store service, our in-house service, our on-site service. I've got trained technicians and that's what they do. So the estimate's free, call me and I'll come out and let's get you safe and secure. All right, let me tell you something super cool. We got the Yamaha single zone HDMI switching surround sound amplifiers back in. Yes, I bet you were all looking for it. But you really were, because we ran slap out of them things all the way through May. And we've been ordering, ordering, ordering. So you can put in an order of 50, but if they only give you four, you only get four, right? Well, now we have stacks of them, just so you'll know what a single zone Yamaha amplifier is. This is a $350 amplifier that has an AM FM tuner built into it, USB on the front, aux on the front. But here's the good stuff. I'm gonna flip this around for you. This is what matters. So now I have four HDMI inputs, right? Here's my output. It has some old school, like you get one of the old Nintendo type games, coaxial and fiber optic, which is kind of like 90s and 2000s eras as far as technology goes. Subwoofer control. All your speaker controls will accept banana plugs or not. It's very simple and very easy to use. Now, what they've added is this year you have Bluetooth, so you can put your music through it as well. And it's 500 watts of power. 500 watts of power. 500 watts has an on-screen menu. It's super easy to set up. So you do it yourself as if you're doing your own surround sound. This is a $300 surround sound amplifier that has everything you need, including Bluetooth, and it's backed up with a two-year warranty from Yamaha, which, you know, we service everything that we sell. So when you come into making one of we have these stacks, and you'll see different, like, single zone, you know, dual zone, three zone ES series amplifiers. Yes, we have turntables back in stock. Thank you so much, God, for that. And we have, uh, of course, Yamaha. So, now, all this is kind of just showing, the reason I kind of show you this is, these are the kind of things that people will come in and just walk out the door and do it themselves. We got sound bars back in stock as well, starting at 249 with Bluetooth, and that's Yamaha. I'm sure you're seeing a cutaway of that Yamaha sound right now. They make three or four different levels, but it's 
under 500 bucks. It's only 250 and it has what they call clear voice. What clear voice does is I have so many people say, I just need to be able to hear the voices better. If I'm watching the news, I'm watching whatever, like all the other ambient noise or destruction and stuff blowing up we can hear. But that's what the Yamaha is known for is they have a patent on clear voice. So that's kind of super, super cool. And I carry all of their models in stock. I'm sure you're seeing a, the uh, cutaway of the mountain of sound bars we have now. So come this way. All right, in the world of 4K, the flat panel world is, of course, on fire. It took a minute for everybody to kind of get back together for 2020, but stuff is rolling in, and it's a new series from Sony, new series called Crystal from Samsung. Of course, LG has a couple of different models in the CX world. But when you come in, I'm going to try to keep, guess what? I have 32-inch TVs, which I think absolutely nobody does. Those are a higher-end version. That's Sony Smart 32. This is the 4K. That's right, 4K 32-inch Samsung. So if you'll look down this line, you'll see anything. Look at this. I just started streaming this 4K just a second ago, then this gives you an idea. As clear as that looked before I hit start, I know it's two different pictures. Look at the difference, even if you just look at this area and this area, and then look at that, at the difference in detail. So that gives you an idea. When you buy a proper 4K TV, the, the, the ability of it is amazing, but we have to utilize that ability. And a lot of the streaming uh, um, apps out there have this 4K ability, even from a mirroring standpoint uh, for 2020, so it's cool. We carried the, like I said, Sony, Samsung, and LG all the way from 32 all the way to right here. This is the new 86, which I think is absolutely amazing. So when you come in, that's right, I said 86, 4K, smart LG, and guess what? Let's do this. It's less than 2,000 bucks for an 86 inch. It's the biggest flat panel made right now and it is less than $2,000. So what you need to know is I know that people get on and start Googling and looking at prices, but I'm the same price as online. If you go to Sony.com and LG, I'm exactly the same price, but you know, my tech support down there, that's no baloney. I have my own technicians that repair product and have since 1978. So 32 to 86 and we got it in stock. Macon and Warner Robins. Bam. It's a 2010 Chevrolet Corvette Grand Sport. This is Pioneers. This is a 5201 and it's got an NEX series. So that means that it is an AM FM radio. That means that it does have a CD and DVD player right here. So it plays both, right? It has a USB that we put into the center console. You can charge his phone. It has navigation built in. Now, it also has CarPlay, CarPlay and Android Auto, which is nice. So now my phone is controlled from here. Here's my grid, my whole phone. We've talked about CarPlay many, many times. But it's just nice and simple and easy to use. And you can pull your maps up from your phone as well. So if you're a Google Maps user or a Waze user or whoever you do, the maps are built into your phone. They'll display here as well. So that's nice. It's, it seems like old news, but CarPlay is a very beautiful thing. Now, in the music side of this, this has a regular uh, AM, FM radio, but it also has a very, very nice equalizer. Let me drop over to sound, and I'll give you an idea what that looks like. So it allows me to adjust this EQ. This is just the way we set it at first, but you can do all these preset ones, or you can custom build your own EQ. Very easy, 11 bands, and it has this has a 200-watt amp built into it, but what we did is we bypassed the amp, and we did, we used the Bose speakers in here, and so we have their amplifier built in, and then we put in a JLRD 1000 watt amplifier in the back. We're gonna get back there in a second. In the world of this, before I show you the custom side and give you a sound demo, we also took care of the speed side. He is getting a Grand Sport Corvette. So we have this Rodenzo called the Pro-M, the Rodenzo Pro-M. This is smaller than a deck of cards. It has XKKA, Wideband KA, Laser, uh, all built into it. Now, it does not have the jammer built in, but listen, this is the best radar detector for less than 500 bucks made, and it's 450 it's fifty dollars. Not like it's one of those one dollar less than five hundred. It's four hundred fifty dollars, and it's the best radar detector made. And I love how it kind of tucked up in here. It's not in your way. And then our lead installer, what he does, he came and tucked all the cables in and ran a separate power source. Now, in the Bluetooth for the radio, we put the microphone here, which is nice. And now we have Bluetooth, Bluetooth audio, a way to do our CarPlay. Everything stays out, and everything's kind of in our factory location. All my factory buttons still work, and everything. Now. When I go to my sound demo, let me just drop back over here. I am going to turn it up for a second, then we'll go to the trunk. Now, keep in mind, we've had this thing a couple of days. Let me, you're not going to believe it. So the highs are amazing. And this is a factory speaker, but that head unit sounds so much better than the factory radio. And now we got bass. You want bass? You got bass. Oh, we be ready. This is good stuff. So you know the Corvette symbol, this piece right here, right? Also pull this for you. Two 12 TW3s, and your mouth is hanging open like mine. And look at this, how we embossed the Corvette symbol into the wood. 
can see how that is. And then we kind of, we got real, real, real fancy with the way we did this and we got all this carpet to mat down. So it really matches very close to the factory. But here's what else is cool. I can take this factory target top, right? Check this out. So now I can put this right back into the factory location. Boom. Lock it into place. Check it out. I've got subwoofer, I've got a thousand watt amplifier. I can still store my top. I've lost no drivability with the vehicle. All of this closes back down better than factory because now you have good sound. So end of the day, this is what's cool. When folks come in, they let us plan the system and we kind of go, what do you want from the sound quality side of it? What do you want from the budget side of it? And then they drop this vehicle off. And this guy's flying in from Ohio to pick up his grand sport with all this crazy, crazy sound. And he's got his radar detector in place and he's got navigation. This is what we do. This is what we do. Awesome. All right, Statesboro Primitive Church in Statesboro, Georgia. Now, we came in on the streaming side. Obviously, since the world changed, uh, streaming has become where we are at. So everybody's either doing it from an iPhone or an iPad, which is not a great idea unless you just have to. But in the real world, you want to have a robotic camera or an HD camcorder. Those are both the options. And then if you have a big church like this, you would have one, two, or three robotic cameras. Now, we carry a company called... PTZ Optics, and you're seeing cutaways of those cameras at this moment. They are the best in the game at this point. Now, here we are. I'm going to just kind of show you our control here. Data video, uh, T-bar switcher here, a huddle cam controller there, and this monitor just allows him to be able to see what he got. Obviously, we can do four if we choose to. So camera one is dead center. So you're seeing a cutaway that's right above my head now, and this allows him to zoom up to 30 times, and that way we can see the pad. Look at this. Full HD, and it's a digital zoom, meaning that when you, like on our phones, when we try to uh, magnify the picture, it gets blurry or grainy. This does not do that because of digital optics, right? And it allows him to scan the front left. So if I want to see the pianist over on the left-hand side, as you can see, there it is, and there it is. Now, when you have a church that's built in the 1800s or even the early 1900s, it's going to be like this. Come around here. It's like this, right? That is not... That's not even plaster at this point. This is called concrete, and it don't do very well when you're going to run modern world. Believe it or not, they did not pre-wire in 1800 uh, for Cat 6. So you have to come in with a conduit like this, and then we can usually paint it to blend or whatever you want to do, but it allows us to put things where they need to be versus where the building forces us to put them. So now they can stream to Facebook, to YouTube, to their website if they choose to. All that's in place and ready to go. But for live view, so right now we have to do social distancing and all that. So a church that holds 350 now holds 125 or even less. And so with their overflow, I'm fixing to take you over there now, we ran a live line back there. It doesn't require internet for someone to be in the overflow to be able to view everything that you get to see in here. This is their fellowship hall, which is absolutely, it's a whole nother church. Now, you see this right here, see these eight events? That is where I was <laughs> crawling, and that is about 125 feet up through the attic, and I was jumping over AC lines and all that. I put that out there to say that my guys laugh at me, but I really love doing it. When we first started doing custom installations, uh, I was the only installer, so I would go out to people's houses, and I would sell their products to them, and then I would go back to the store and get the products, and I would go back and install it in their houses, uh, and that was, you know, 30 years ago, but I really enjoyed that hands-on, and sometimes I like to get in and get a little dirty with the guys, if that makes sense. Now, but that's not what we're here for. I just think it's cool. Now, look at this. you got this giant picture, so you're 160-plus inches of picture, and now you're seeing camera one. So camera one allows, here we are, we're zooming out, and so you literally can sit in here in an overflow and not feel like you got the bad end of the deal on the seat you got the good seat of the house because now you're right here look how look at that is absolutely amazing now when he wants to flip around to say i want to see camera two then i can go to camera two and it allows me to now see not only a different view of the pastor or what praise and worship but i can see the congregation so he can pan that camera all the way around and i literally can see the entire uh, the entire event from the from the sanctuary right here and again this does not require internet for this part to work this 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 is literally a live stream that's ran through uh, Ethernet cables down, but it does not require internet for this to work. So if you folks that, that are in the rural areas and you don't have internet, this still works like a champ to be able to put it in your overflow or your social hall or wherever you're going to do it. We now have to think differently in the, in the world of church. We have a different way of worship, right? And, and is it all going to be back to normal one day? I hope so. But regardless, now we have an outside church for folks that weren't streaming, for you that were streaming, bravo, I, I'm proud of you. 
But the folks that weren't streaming now need to stream. And now you have a whole church, what they call an online church, that's going to church with you from now on, from their homes. And so this is what makes all that happen. And for you folks that still get the folks to come to church, like I love when people come to church because you get to love on them. And, but the idea behind that is you still got to make it where they can see and hear and enjoy worship. It's a different world today, and we have to think in that mind of modernization. So, so here we are at Statesboro Primitive Baptist Church, which is down in Statesboro, Georgia. And I am very thankful to work for them because I'm telling you, when somebody says HD, I just get all crazy. Hey, thank you for watching this show. I appreciate that. I really enjoy us getting out there and showing you and giving you all these cool ideas. I don't get to put everything that we do on the show for obvious reasons. We don't have enough time. I wish we had an hour show. It'd be so much fun. But but I do thank you for your creative minds of which you come and bring these, especially the ATV guys for the last 45 days. Y'all have been on fire to get these things filled up with music. I've had some cool Corvettes and Porsches we've got to do, motorcycles. I just love doing uh, what we do for you. And the home audio and video, home theater world, thank you again for allowing us to do that. That's stuff that we really love to do. Of course, churches, we're very passionate about churches. I, in, the, in the realm of it, what we do is we have a small box of, of service that we do. You know, we don't reach out into appliances and we don't reach out into, you know, home building. It, we, we stay in exactly where we started. In 1978, this is the first amplifier that was ever sold by my dad. And, and I kind of look at this and, and it's not like I'm, you know, I don't remember this because I was only 10 years old. But my point is, it's kind of cool that we've, we've, we've dug our feet into concrete and stayed with what we know. As our third generation comes into the company, they're so much smarter than we are. It's amazing how they think to help us to continue to grow in what we do, but never losing focus of how it all began. You know, we, we're literally good old boys that love audio, and we ended up loving video, and we love to install uh, and serve. That's where we are. Now, uh, I want to put my phone number up here. I want to make sure you reach out to me and just call me if you have something great experience. If you have a bad experience, really call me or text me to 911, and I'll do everything in my power to make sure that it goes exactly as it should go, as, as we promised right here on this television show. Uh, my social media comes up right here. You know, we have YouTube, we have Instagram and Facebook. I uh, ask that you'll follow those and like those pages, and, and that way you can see all the cool stuff that we can. I constantly am trying to update and post really neat pictures of nice things that we get to do. Now, we do the good old basic stuff too. You know, I have people come in and take and buy their 43-inch TV and walk out the door with it. Well, that's what we do too. I don't want you to miss the fact that we are a custom install company and a retail store, and that's all about who we are uh, for you. So I I'll leave you with this in Philippians 3.14. It says, I press on, press on towards the call that Jesus Christ, that my Lord and Savior has for me. That's my words. I press on towards that, towards that call. What that means is, once you give your life to Christ, if you're an unbeliever, just listen to me for a second anyway. If you're a believer, listen to me again. It's, it's, this is what we call confirmation. Once you give your life to Christ, there's this call that God gives you to do what? To love people. To, to, to give them a better life because you're in it. Right, right. I, I want people to look back on me and, 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 and say, you know, he was a part of my life and he walked with God. I want that to happen. Not because I say it, but because I live it. And so our call to God is so very important to press on towards that call, to consistently say, God, I'm in to do what you asked me to do. And you said the number one commandment Jesus said was what? Love others as I have loved you. Super awesome and super simple, and it would change the entire world if we all did it just like that. Come see us at Ken's and make it in one round. I want to tell you who we are. I'm Michael Jones, my brother Kenny Jones. Oh, we got the light on there. Already set. <laughs> Ready set. <laughs> Got it. Okay, hold on. Are you stable? Uh, <laughs> no. <laughs> Stop!